Hey guys, so I am on my way to pick up Ben. It is a overcast day and it feels like really cold, but it's not really that cold. But I'm dressed like it's freezing <laughs> because I freeze all the time. And I just did my exchange. Sorry, I have a candy in my mouth. Um, I just had breakfast with Glenda, which was more like breakfast lunch because it's pretty late. And then I raced home because we talk forever. And I raced home to get my exchange done so I could go grab Ben. And uh, that's what I am doing right now. So uh, I am just a little bit tired. I need to take a nap. Tonight is jam, so I need to nap before going because otherwise I'll fall asleep halfway through. Um, other than that, things are good. I did reschedule my brain appointment from last week to Thursday and uh, it's a consultation of some sort. So, and come to think of it, I don't even know if it's a consultation for my brain or if it's a consultation for transplant guess I'll find out on Thursday. Tomorrow I go to DaVita to um, see my doctor and get any lab result things taken care of. As far as I know, my EPO is doing phenomenal, so I don't need an EPO shot, which I think means I don't need an iron shot. So my body has pretty kicked, has pretty much kicked back into producing what it needs to on its own. And then um, my kidney has started to function again. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of contributing factors to that, I think. Um, eating good is one. Um, what else? Drinking well is another. Um, being active is another one. And then I think mental happiness is probably another factor, even though a lot of people don't talk about that so much. Um, I think being positive and trying to um, stay happy, you know, things like that. I think doing happy things, uh, maintaining my social life and so forth, I think those things all contribute to healing of the body. So it's pretty exciting to know that my kidney has <laughs> stopped sleeping and it's working again, although I still need transplant. So it's not like I'm healed or like, like a liver where you can like grow another piece back. It's just good news and uh, means my dialysis is working really well and it means that I have wept for reasons and worked hard for reasons and did a good job for reasons. I don't know where I should park it. I don't remember seeing Ben. I wasn't paying attention. So hopefully he didn't start to walk home and then I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. And I'll sit here for a few minutes and then if I don't, you know how you get a mom vibe and you're like, I don't sense my kid. Then, uh, I'll have to drive back and see if I can catch him, but he should be here. I am a little early though. I like to pick him up like 10 after, maybe 15 after, because it's been my experience that little Billy's parents have to get out of their car and walk up to the doors and get little Billy. And that makes the traffic jam. And I don't understand why little Billy has to have that happen because you can see him from the parking lot. Like this school is set up really nicely where the parking lot, like you can totally see the entire front of the campus and the doors, like the doors are literally just right there. So I don't know why that is. Anyways, Ben is here. So I will talk to you guys later.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>